Well, we are here at the Ganey home in Falk, Arkansas with the Ganey boys here on behalf of Texture Cannon Monthly to find out a little bit about these boys and their bull riding. So I'm gonna start here by saying, who's older? I am. You are? By how, by one minute, two minutes? One minute. Two minutes, okay, okay. So I have boys and no one can tell them apart because they're close in age. You guys are two minutes apart, and so what's, how do you tell people? Well, I have a freckle up here, and then he doesn't. And, and I'm okay. a little bit taller than he is. Okay. There's not really much to tell apart. You talk the same, you look the same, but you do have different hats. Tell me about your hats. Is this how you set each other apart? Yes, yeah, a little no. bit. They're and the, and the season. It's They're supposed to be furry, and uh -huh. they're real nice, though. They're very nice. Tell me the story behind your hat, Ethan. I, I see them all the time, and not a bunch of people really have them, and I just really like them. Yeah, it's super cool. Now, did I hear that you bought these hats and then won back all the money that would pay for these hats? Yes, ma'am. Tell me about that, Hayden. Uh, we So we went down there, and we bought them, and they were real expensive. And then we went to the event the next day, and then we both placed real good. And then after all that, we won a lot of money and won our hats back. When you say won a lot of money, like what are we talking about? Are we talking about a couple hundred dollars? Me and him walked away together with 10 grand. 10 grand? Yes, ma'am. Are you kidding me? And you're how old? 12. 12. You're 12. About to be 13 this spring. Yes, ma'am. So when this, when this comes out in Texture Cannon Monthly, y'all will be 13. 10 grand. You know I've never won 10 grand in my life on any kind of prize or anything. And you guys, here you are already. Bigger bank account than I do, my goodness. So let me ask you, did you always want to be in bull riding? We'll start with you, Ethan. Yes, ma'am, we have. We always? Watch, we watch videos all the time and we really wanted to do it. Is it because your dad did it as a kid or how were you introduced I, to it? We really don't know, we just, we just wanted to do it. YouTube? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's YouTube. You can find anything on YouTube, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you started as a kid. Did you know anyone who already was a bull rider, Hayden? No, no, I knew professional people, but like nobody that, I, like nobody I knew as a friend. Okay, so tell me, who are some professional bull riders that you really like? like? Uh, Chase Outlaw and then like Jess Lockwood and, and other people like that. What do you like about it? Do you like they're, just, they're, they're cool, they... Most of them like are, they're real cowboys. Like JB, he's a cowboy. Chase Outlaw, he's a cowboy. Now hold on, what... Okay, so Ethan, what does it mean to be a real cowboy? You gotta, you gotta know how to rope, ride a horse, and ranch all day. And do you know how to do all that? Getting I'm not, there? I'm not that good at roping, but everything else is well. Wow. Okay, what do you say a real cowboy is? Basically the same thing. Yeah. So they are real cowboys. Now, do you see yourself doing this for the rest of your life what's what's kind of, we'll start with we'll start with you Hayden what's kind of your goal what do you want to do I want to I want to be able to ride bulls and do the like the PRCA and make it to the NFR and then like win a lot of money and then and then just get out of it how much money you want to win a lot a lot as much as you can what would you buy with anything in the world if you if you won all the bull riding championships what would you buy uh I don't know, really. Bulls? I bet those are expensive. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Have your own farm, have your own ranch one day. Have like a big arena. Oh, that's cool. Now, okay, so I hear that you guys and your family are also helping other kids to get to learn. So, Ethan, tell me about that. Tell me about um, how other kids your age can do it. Uh, we're putting on a bull clinic coming up March 20th. And okay. there's a lot of kids that like watches our videos on YouTube mm -hmm. and um, they watch it and they want, really want to do it. And some of these rodeos down here, uh, they sign up and ride in them. So how cool is that that kids are watching you guys on YouTube? Is that a pretty cool feeling? Yes, ma'am. Because I would imagine, I mean, you started out watching people on YouTube. Now people are watching you. What do kids at school say? Well, nobody really at school. It's just other people that like, their dads or maybe would do rodeo and then they were real young. Yeah. And then they watch videos and stuff like that. And they watch you guys. When someone hears, Hayden, that you guys go to all these bull riding things, does anyone ever look at you and like, you ride bulls? Like, can they believe that you really some get people, on a bull? Some people do, but not a whole lot. Because they either, they just never heard of it or? Yeah. Yeah. Like when most people at school, when I tell them 
or they're or they just talk about it. They yeah. think I, they think we're getting on these big bulls, but we're not. But you're getting on smaller versions. But we're, we're stepping up to them. Gotcha. We're starting to get on a little bit more size. Gotcha. So where does it start, Ethan? What size kind of of a bull? It, it depends what age you are. Like if you're if you're little, then you get on the little. Okay. If you're like like twelve or eleven or ten, you, yeah, you get on decent size. But then like when you're fourteen and fifteen and stuff, you start getting up on bigger bulls. On the bigger bulls. Do you remember the first bull you ever got on? Yes, ma'am. What did it feel like? It, it felt weird because we were riding the flank ropes and stuff, and it uh -huh. just didn't feel all right. Were you kind of a little bit nervous? Not really. Not it really? Was my, it was my first time. Your first time? What about you, Hayden? What'd you, what was well, your first bull experience like? My first bull, it was fun, but then the second one, I kind of knew what it felt like, so then whenever my second time came, this one had like big old horns on him, and I was nervous, but then I rode him. What was it like, Hayden, the first time you fell off? It didn't really hurt. You just like hit the dirt, and then... You, and he, he just hit the dirt and roll. Mm -hmm. Did did they teach you like a certain way to fall off a bull? No, no, because you're basically supposed to ride it, so they didn't teach you how to fall off. But well, that's true. But when you ride it, then you always want to jump off with your hand that you're riding with. You always want to jump that way and land always on your feet. Always want to go to your right and land on your feet. Yes, ma'am. Kind of like spin in the air, the little ninja right. thing. Land on your feet. Man, okay, Ethan, what about the protective gear? What do you have to wear before you get up on a bull? Oh, we have a vest, helmets, and then uh, we have chaps, gloves, spurs. I mean, the whole thing. So you're head to toe. You're ready. Okay, have you ever gotten hurt, Ethan? A lot of times. A lot of times? Like what? Like getting stepped on, like this bull, like yellow, he like chipped my teeth in my back because I hit him. That was my only time I forgot my mouthpiece. Oh, how did he chip your teeth? By he stepped on your face? No, ma'am. I was, I was on the bike going to the back of him and he threw me up and when I came down and he hit, his horn hit me. His okay. horn hit you. Oh, my goodness. Well, here I am worried about my kids just like tripping and falling on a normal day. And you guys, man, y'all are tough and rough. How about you? Have you ever gotten hurt? Hey, yes, ma'am. Plenty of times. One time we were at a, like a practice pen, and the practice pen is where uh -huh. you get on like practice bulls. Yeah. And it was hopping down the pen and then... And then I fell off. I smacked the gate. Oh, with what? Your face? Yeah, I just ran straight into it. Oh my goodness! But I see no no broken bones at this point. No. Have you ever broken a bone? No, no. Neither no. Was. Haven't lost. You chipped a tooth. Haven't lost any teeth yet. Okay. Let's go. Ever gotten black eyes, bruises? Well, by each big, other. Big but bruises on our legs and stuff. By each other? Little brother tussles or uh, from the bull? Just from from us. Because when you have protection on, you really don't get bruised up. But once we're at this big finals and my vest got ripped off of me and I got stepped on, and then oh. I had like this big old bruise on my back. Oh. So as brothers, you admit you fight sometimes, All right? Time. All the time? Well, it's not really a fight. It's just him getting beat up. By you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what happens? As he grows older, he learns some things he's going to beat up on you, right? Is that what's going to happen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so my brothers, they like to tell the story of how Jeff really broke his arm one time. They said it was because they were playing basketball and they just fell down. No, Je Jason pushed him into a brick wall while they were playing basketball, broke the arm. So you guys aren't like super crazy with each other, right? No, no, no. we just play. Right, Mama? They're not. <laughs> it's just normal, normal tussles. <laughs> I love it. Well, what about at school? Let me ask this. Do you guys ever have trouble at school with other kids or? No, not most of the time. Sometimes. I mean, who would want to mess with bull riders, right? I mean, you guys are rough and tough. Yeah, but most of the kids at school, they're bigger, so that's why. Yeah, but they can't ride a bull, can they? No. No. I'll be honest. When they said bull riding, I thought maybe you guys just lassoed them or something. No, I saw the videos. Y'all are on the back of those things. That is incredible. Now, okay, so Ethan, tell me, what's the trick to holding on and staying on? You just got to have all grit. You got to keep your hands shut Okay. and squeeze tight. And just If you got your rope really sticky and really tight, then it's hard for your hand to really come out. Rope really sticky, really tight. Hold on. So you're holding on with your left hand? No, my right hand. Hold on my, with your right hand. And my left hand's in the air. Oh, I saw that. It's in the air. You're riding, and then you want to fall to the right, yeah, right? Because that's the one. Because when your hand's like this and you fall to the left, you flip your hand over. But it's hard for the girl to get your hand out like that. 
So when you flip to the right, it pops it out. Oh. oh and then if I'm left-handed, I want to go left. But you're both right-handed. Yes, sir. Okay. So what does, Hayden, I want you to tell me about a typical practice. Like, do y'all practice every day uh, when most you come of the time from school? Before, before we have big events, yeah. my mom, she'll make, a, she'll make a chart, and then every day we'll mark on it. Mm-hmm. And then we have, like, three, three bucking barrels out there that we use. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes we'll go to practice pens and do them. Okay. And we'll bring bulls there and then get on them. So a, a practice round. You'll come home from school. And you'll do what? You'll just hop on one of those things and... No, no, we normally have to, we kind of like call people and we do it at my buddy's house. Okay. And and normally it's on a weekend. Like okay. Sometimes we go to church and we have bulls in the trailer and then when we got done, we go and we change in the truck and then go to the practice room. And go to practice. That's super cool. So how do you guys get homework done, all the stuff you need to do, lead a typical seventh grader life, and be famous bull riders on the side. How do you make it, how do you make it all work? Your mama, is your mama keeping you straight? Yes, sir. They love you, mom. <laughs> and, okay, so your older sister, you have a sweet older sister, Michaela, who doesn't boss you around too much, right? She your biggest fan? Yeah, you can hear it in the video, she probably is. Yeah? Yeah. Sitting on the sidelines, cheering you on? All right, so tell me, let's start with you, Ethan. Tell me about your biggest win yet. It was a couple months ago in Mesquite for 2020. The world championship? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, it was, uh, you had your first round and second round. You pretty much had to cover at least one bull to go to the semi round. Yeah. I, I covered both of my bulls. I went to the semi round. I covered my bull there, and then I won that round, That which put us going to the short go, but I was sitting second. But then the kids sitting first bucked off, and then I covered, so then that's what I won. Hold on. What does I covered mean? What does that mean? I rode him for eight seconds. Oh. Have you ever ridden him for longer than eight seconds? Sometimes. Sometimes. You're ready to get off at that point, though, I bet. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell me about your best ride ever, Hayden. It was one day in Bloomberg after another rodeo. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't remember quite when it was, but the bull came out there, and he jumped real high. And then he spun real fast, and they marked me good on him. Yeah? That's incredible. So if you could keep bull riding the rest of your life, what would you, well, let's say, let's say if you could do anything besides bull riding, you do, you win all the championships, what else would you do? You, you just always want to be a bull rider? Hey, yeah. so. Yeah. What about you, Ethan? Always want to be a bull rider? Teach other people, yeah. too? Yes, ma'am. Other kids, because I don't think many people know that kids and young dudes your age, man, they can do this. People play. Do y'all ever play, try sports or yeah, we play anything else? Play a little bit of football. Yeah, a little bit of football. A little football. And you know, for me, I'm like, I don't want my kids playing tackle football. They'll get hurt. Hey, you guys are bull riders. It doesn't even matter. Y'all are awesome. When's your next big um, show or rodeo to go to? Tonight. Well, we have we have one tonight. It's. It's a big event, and we got, we got uh, me, us two, and a couple of our buddies, we get invited to it, and it's a big event. Well, that's cool. Speaking of buddies, if you were to have your friends over, what would, like, the best night with your friends be like here at your house? What would y'all do? I don't know. If I had an arena at my house, we'd probably do that. And if I had mm-hmm. lights out there, we'd probably do that all night. Just have any of your friends tried bull riding with you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Uh, pretty much all of our friends are only bull riders, pretty much. Yeah. Well, I guess they have to be, right? It's who y'all spend the most time with. Who do you think is going to win the next next event? Think so? No. You think? Hmm. I well, guess we'll we see. both got really good bulls tonight, though. To oh yeah. Them. So what does a really good bull mean? Like it's... a really ranked bull. If you cover, you get high points off of them, and you win. Okay. What's a good bull for you? Like one that like will spin like right when you open the gate will spin. Oh. The ones that just come out there and they just hop. Yeah. And you don't get a lot of points off of them. So is there any way to make a bull do what you want it to do once the gate opens? No, no ma'am. It's just they open it up and you just see what you got. Mm-hmm. Now, what do they pull up, put on the bull to make them? Uh, they have like a, it's a flank rope and they put on the back of it. Okay. Yeah, uh, you, you tie it, sort of tie it. It depends how you flank them. You just got to like read the bull. Got to read. Do you get to flank them yourself, Ethan? We, we own a couple bulls and sometimes at prices pens we get to flank them. Okay, but someone flanks it for you, you get on top of the bull, they open the gate, and then you're off. That's right. Has anything ever gone wrong? Like you're about to get on the bull and then they open the gate and you know, uh oh, something went wrong. Yeah. What about you, Hayden? One, we were actually at a practice pen and it was one of our bulls out, outside and 
he he started bucking in the chute when I went to nod my head, and then I got thrown down in the chute with him, and then they opened the gate. Like, so he could have stepped on you right there in the chute? Yeah, and he was hooking me all up through my legs and stuff. Crazy. Were you a little bit scared? Not really, because, I mean, I was trying to, find the, trying to find the fence to try to climb myself back up. That's smart. What about you? Any, any ever mishaps? Anything ever go wrong? A bull's buck in the chute. They slam your legs into the gate. Ooh, yeah. And, like, jump up. That would hurt. And I hear you have a big autograph signing this afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Right. What does it feel like to be 12 and signing autographs already? Fun. A little fun. Pretty cool? Yes, yes ma'am. Right. Yeah? Can people tell you apart? Uh, most people can't, but, like, if you're real close, yeah. Yeah. As long as you have your hats on. All right, so... Besides being bull riders, you also have the Ganey Bulls, a whole business on the side. So, Ethan, tell me what are, what's your, your is it a family business, the Ganey Bulls? It's pretty, yes, ma'am, pretty much. Okay. And what do you, are you a part of it? Do you have your own bulls you yes, take care of? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How we, many? We, we have eight bulls, but uh, some of the bulls me and Hayden bought, and some of them my dad bought. You have already bought your own bull? Yes, ma'am. With your winnings? Yes, ma'am. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so Hayden, tell me, what's it like for you? Do you t like have chores? Do you how do you take care of your bulls? Well, most of the time, we just we have like we have dates. We give them like doctor, like warmer and stuff, and the warmer helps them where worms don't get inside of them and stuff. Okay. Now, do you guys have to get up early in the morning and go feed them and do all that? Normally not. Like normally, we'll get up and we'll have some in, like in the pens mm -hmm. that we're gonna buck soon mm -hmm. and, and then right when we get up and right before we have to get dressed to go to school we'll put on work clothes and go feed them that is so cool so what your mom mentioned being stock contractors what does that mean that's uh, that's where you like bring, bring, bulls. bring bulls to the rodeos okay and people buy bulls from you guys also yeah when we put them up for sale okay that's it. so you're almost like do you know what an entrepreneur is like you got your own business you are already business owners did you know that that's super cool. That's super cool. Okay, so who's your favorite bull that you own, Ethan? Um, it's named, his name's Tiny Tim. He's Tiny my Tim? favorite bull. Did you name him? No, no. <laughs> what about you, Hayden? Who's your favorite bull? Um, it'd probably be one of our little calves out there. His name's, his name's Milkshake. Milkshake. He, uh, he's, he's new to the group. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought him with our set of mama cows. Mm -hmm. And then he's just a little calf that we buck in the peewees, and he bucks real good. That's super cool. Well, thank you guys so much for talking with me today. Good luck tonight at your event. Thank you. Y'all are fantastic. Well, we are back here with Texture Cannon Monthly to talk with Amanda and Lance Ganey. They are the heart and soul uh, behind this family. We're here in their beautiful home just to kind of get an inside look at what it's like to be bull riding parents. So Lance, let's start with you. Did you uh, do rodeos or were you a bull rider as a kid? Uh, no, I mean, I wouldn't say I was really a bull rider. It was, we grew up with uh, our grandpa, you know, whatever he caught, whether it was a, a Holstein heifer or mm -hmm. cow or bull or whatever it was, you know, it didn't matter how what the, how big it was, you yeah. just rode it. Um, these mini associations now, it's a big deal. It's really grown a lot in the last couple of years. Um, it's actually one of the biggest growing sports there is, uh, which these kids get to do. And the twins have gotten into stock contracting with it. You know, but at the end of the day, it's it's all about, you know, we do devotionals at these rodeos. And it's, yeah. a, it's a big thing for these kids, you know, because some, they show up and they've never heard a scripture quoted or anything preached, you know, so yeah. that we usually will stop the events and we'll do a devotional and the, the, you know, the kids come up and they accept Christ as their savior. And it's not about the, the 90 point bull ride when it's a, yeah. that a kid gets saved and baptized right there at the event. Yeah. Um, and then, they, then they get to go get on a bull and they're all happy. And when they, when they cover, you know, it's, uh, it's like I've told them, I know a lot of times at these rodeos, we put in so much work and producing and mm -hmm. stuff we've done and the travel and, but at the end of the day, when a kid makes a good ride and they're all smiles and they walk back there and they're high-fiving yeah. everybody. And, yeah. then, and then when the rodeo's over, you see all these little kids in the arena just chasing each other around, having a good time. That's what it's all about. So this really is like a ministry for yeah. you guys yes. and for your family. I really feel like anything we do, we really embrace that as ministry and planting yeah. seeds in different people's lives. Well, obviously you are with kids who are getting saved right before they even uh -huh. get in the bull. I mean, like, this is incredible. It gives you truly a purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure you're already instilling that, Lance, in your boys. Of, there's an eternal thing here, too. It's not mm -hmm. just today and the temporary. Yes, ma'am. And the boys know, you know, uh, 
everything you do, you put God first. Right. It doesn't matter what it is. You put God first. You put him first. And like you had mentioned off camera, I mean, it's, there's always someone else who's preparing, you know. Yeah. You know, like just before uh, we went to uh, Oklahoma for the IMRA finals, I wrote on a whiteboard out there in the shop. It was like uh, they had to put their hash marks on there for every round they practiced and all mm -hmm. that stuff, you know. And I told them, I was like, you know, you have to treat every day like you're number two trying to get to number one. Yeah. You know, and, and I tell, you know, that you're warm up somebody's best, you know. Right. And you've got to get after it. And you've got to practice every day and push yourself to be, to be the better competitor. But always remain humble. Absolutely. Because you're never too good for anything. That's true. Did you ever dream of having boys or kids who are bull riders? Well, I never thought I'd make it past 20 years old, so let alone have <laughs> kids and them world, you know, world champion world bull champions. riders, you know. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, so what about you? The heart behind the family, Amanda. <laughs> were you introduced to rodeos or did you go watch them as a kid? Or you, you know, when we dated, we that was our thing. Like we would go to rodeos and we would yeah. watch bull riding. Every other event in the rodeo is just not my favorite. It's yeah. just the bull riding. Yeah. I love it. It's always captured me. Um, he says I'm a little adrenaline junkie, but and then here we are having twins, you know? Yeah. They're fun. They're a lot like their daddy. They right. love adrenaline, action. Um and they wanted to ride a bull. And I was all about it. Were I'm like, you? Let's do it. And he was like, Are you serious? I'm yeah. Like, yes, let's do it. And uh, he, he warned me. He said, Papa always said, yeah. When they ride, it will get in their blood. And I'm like, It's all right, let's do it. Yeah. And here we are, what, almost four years later, and we are ate up with it. <laughs> the boys are winning and doing great. And yeah. we traveled all over. And it's a wonderful family hobby. Right. So a lot of people are like, how do you do this, Mom? Yeah. How do you let your babies crawl on that breathing animal mm -hmm. and buck them off? Yeah. Um, but, you know, we pray before every ride. Mm -hmm. And I'm just passionate about what all my children are passionate about. Mm -hmm. Right now, this is our season yeah. of buck and bulls. Y'all have embraced it. I love it. This is your season. This is, this is our season. It may not be forever. That's right. You know, and I tell the twins that like, yeah. this is the season that God's given us. It's your right. winning season. You're doing great. Right. We don't know what season, you know, of course their dream is to be the next biggest thing and make those right. million dollars. And I'm like, but the Lord has your destiny planned. Absolutely. And right now we're embracing the season we're in and it may change. He may have mm -hmm. something else greater in store for you. Well, I just love that y'all are already teaching them how they're making an impact and a Absolutely. difference in other kids' lives their age. Yeah. I mean, because they were even telling me, you know, that other kids are now watching them on YouTube. That's right. So to hear about the Ganey boys, I know that's your hashtag. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and then to start really getting to know these boys, the reach of their impact and your family's yeah. impact honestly is incredible. Like it gives me chills <laughs> thinking about it. And I just love how the Lord's using you guys Absolutely. and your family. Now it's not a surprise to me that they're already little entrepreneurs uh -huh. because you guys have businesses and yes. side and y'all are hard working yes. and it's obvious that your faith is so important to you. Mm -hmm. So Amanda, what's it like having boys who are already, I mean, they're on the track to winning, to saving, to um, just making a difference. What's mm -hmm. that like for you? You know, it's it's rewarding because as parents, you want the best for your children. Right. You want them to thrive in life. And right. I think that we are already planting such a solid foundation mm -hmm. on work ethics and manners yes. and how you carry yourself and just that composure. I, I just... I keep saying, you know, with this running the business with the preschools, yeah. that's our philosophy is yeah. we're raising up a generation. Mm -hmm. We're those different makers, and mm -hmm. that's what we're doing for our own children. You are making so, a difference maker. Being yeah. a stock contractor and tending to their animals, that teaches them so much. Mm -hmm. Our children, our three children are definitely not lazy. Yeah. they Everything that they have, they've earned through hard work. And, and big dedication. sister... Mm -hmm. Big sister is just right in there with you too. That's the, right. the biggest fans from the stands. Uh, Michaela loves photography, and she is their um, editor on all their pictures yeah. and Instagrams, and she's a huge part and a big soul for them. And their biggest fan, she helps dress them and tells them what looks good and doesn't look good, <laughs> as all sisters do. Yes. yes. Well, they looked fantastic today. They were so <laughs> cute. They really are. Well, I love just getting to know the heart behind it, you know, and it's just so much deeper than just going out and right. winning championships, right. which is important to them. Mm -hmm. But I love that you'll have a deeper mm -hmm. purpose and meaning and your faith is just being shared by so many. Mm -hmm. That's Thank incredible. You. To circle back to the beginning, when yeah. the twins got started, it was with uh, an organization that's local, which is mm -hmm. uh, Southwest High School Rodeo Association. Okay. And there's a guy there named Mike Vickers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to give credit where credit's due on this because yeah. Mr. Mike, um, when the twins walked up to their first rodeo, 
And uh, well, I say their second rodeo, mm -hmm. and uh, they had walked up, and Mr. Mike he pulled them right under his arm, and because he knew the twins were as green as they come, like yeah. they didn't have a clue, you know. And he pulled them under his wing, and he was teaching them everything and showing them like, hey, you know, all right, boy. And he had some good bulls there, and they and this organization is still going on. So if there is a you know kids for beginners that's mm -hmm. really wanting to get to learn, mm -hmm. so, uh, it's short for the acronym is Swarsha. Okay. Uh, but it's a good organization for kids to go learn, um, and it's it's great organization, good people. Because even the twins, you know, like their first bulls when they climb down in there, you know, you could just feel their, you could see their legs just <laughs> shaking, just shaking the whole yeah. time, like they're straddling the bull and they're climbing down in the chute. You know, they're, I, and I'd be holding on to them, and I could feel their heart racing through their vest. You know, was yours racing as well? Uh, so Dad will jump and pump, and the music's going, and then I'm over yeah. there with a the video, and I'm the prayer warrior. You know, yes. God protect them, keep your angels over them, you know. Mm -hmm. And then y usually it depends, like right before we ride, and if you guys are there for tonight's event, you'll see. Like I'll get them by the face mask, we get our heads together. Yeah. I'm like, all right, hey, you got your head right? I'm getting that side. Yes, you know, and mm -hmm. yes, yes, sir, I got my head right. I'm like, look at, look at me. When you get in here, it's a freaking bear fight, son. Mm -hmm. You take it to this dude <laughs> and you own him. Small corrections, keep your free arm tight. Mm -hmm. Don't get in there and get crazy with them. Mm -hmm. Don't throw yourself all around. Just small corrections and ride this dude. It's just another mama's calf. And <laughs> there you go. And uh that's a pretty that's a pretty good pep talk. They, oh, he's he's great at that. They get he's a pep it. talker and he's the prep talker, you're the does. prayer warrior. That's right. There you go. And I know you're praying for him too in the <laughs> sidelines. But. Uh there's been a few times I've had to jump in the arena and uh help get him out. And they do, they want to keep dad close because you know dad Dad's going to make sure that they're okay. Absolutely. We love the bullfighters that um, are out there on the dirt protecting our guys and getting mm -hmm. them off the bull. Um, but they know when they hit that ground that they better be turning, flipping, and running. Because that bull can come. It's an animal, you know? Yeah. And an, animals can be unpredictable and you don't know what they'll do. Um, but that's part of the hype of what they love. But yeah. they always know Dad will jump down and jump in and tackle that bull if he has to. <laughs> Absolutely. And that was my question is, what is it like when you see your, your son falling or their leg getting caught yeah. or something, Dad? What, what's going through your mind? I mean, they asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I mean, they get, they got on. They yeah. know what comes with it. That's right. What about you, Mom? Yeah, you know when that happens, I, I sometimes I question myself, like, why do I let them do this? It's my choice at the end of the day. I'm yeah. a parent. But like I said, they love it, and we support yeah. it. And and I tell parents, you can get injured in baseball. You can get injured Absolutely. in football. Absolutely. Everything that boys are going to do is physical contact, yes. and there is a chance of injury. Um, but we don't want to put them in a bubble. Mm -hmm. We want them to excel, and by doing that, you have to take chances and um, chase that passion. Well, y'all are chasing it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I just love watching your family and getting to know your family. Thank you. You truly, I mean, are making a difference. And thank, thank you. you for allowing, I know you're having a clinic coming up. In yes. Morgan. Thank you for helping other kids yes. be able to get involved in that. And that's our goal is, like he said, we want to take other kids who've had this interest. Mm -hmm. We've kept the rates low so that um, anybody can really participate that wants yeah. to, yeah. that they can come and learn. And the Ganey boys, as long as some of their friends will be there teaching yeah. them, because that's what it makes. It's one person making an impact at that ra uh, rodeo. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want to continue to do for others. And these boys truly are making an impact. And they so really are you guys. Are. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, that's a wrap here with Amanda and Lance Ganey. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Getting to know the heart and soul behind the Ganey boys.